very uh, start, but we have to see as they come out of the front straight. Make sure no one jumps out of line or tries to jump the start. Our starter George will be watching closely as the uh, for formation comes out onto the front straight. And they look pretty slow coming onto the front straight, so perhaps, uh, maybe he's got an earpiece, he's listening to me. As Gerald Pace brings that uh, Grand Prix up very slowly so that uh, he'll have the advantage with that V8 torque to pull away from Chris Newton right behind him and also the accurate ticker of Gary Kwong. Oh, he looks at Troy Schweed sort of getting out of line there. Three back wide and then we're off and running. A lock up as they head down into turn one. Very hard braking. Not sure who it was. Could have been uh, John Cartwright in the other blue Honda locking up the brakes just a little bit. We see uh, Chris Dutch diving on the inside of Gary Kwong as they head into turn two. He makes well in that green Mazda RX-7. Too wide and a lot of instances going through that turn two. As our leaders take that short shoot down into turn three, the far west end of the course. Oh, lots of lockup, smoke, and doesn't sound too friendly down there, but it looks like everyone's still pointing in the right direction going around the corner, so, and heavy braking down into that turn three. You can hear the squealing tires from all the way up from here. Lots of cars make their way through the Cascade Corners, or Cascade Curves, that's right in front of you, and the uh, four, five, and six. They'll make their way onto the back stretch. Get a prime area for a passing down and behind the motocross track. We see that V8 power take over as car 731 starts to pull away. Direct competitor is uh, Hugh Richards in that green 
Zorik, Nevis, so he's got to worry a little bit about a few as well as uh, Gary Kwong. Gary's just, again, in a different classification, but uh, it's always nice to be uh, first, second, and third overall in a, in a race like this. Looks like that Todd Sheep trying to make a move on uh, Hugh Richards. Todd in the IP1 class, improved production one. He's got a several of our competitors in IP1, actually quite a few. IP1 uh, also Kurt Schlosser in the car 21 Mustang. Colin Hansen in the car number 64. Also another Mustang and Michael Zborski in the Camaro in IP1. Eric Stanley in IP1 and also Darwin Olmsted. I don't think all those cars are here. I see a few of these cars are missing that uh, are on my grid sheet. Forming up, and they, uh, we'll see if uh, Hugh Richards can pull up to the tail end of Gary Kwong in that car. Look at some of the other classes and see who their leaders are. Quinn B. Speck is the uh, car of Carlos Tesla Mabe. Followed by the car 55 of Andre Kissel. That's the Mini. Sherry Storms, third in B Spec, and uh, Norm Burrard, fourth. So we see a couple of those cars heading down Sherry Storms and Norm Burrard. We see Harry Stanley in that uh, 300 ZX. Making an interesting group with that Camaro. Oh, and Sherry takes the inside line, goes through turn one, and makes that move on the Camaro. In the uh, little B-spec car. It's not a lot of power, but pretty nimble little car around the turn. As our four-car train comes on the front straight, the one to watch right now, I believe, is uh, it's still due to Gary Kwong looking to make a move. Cutting to the left, right, cutting to the left. Again, Newton doing the inside or middle of the track, real defensive driving. to try to figure out a way to make his way past because he's got uh, Todd Sheeve right behind him and Todd's made his way past uh, Hugh Richards. So that happens somewhere on the back side of the track. We missed that one, but uh, change in position. So Gary's uh, got one eye forward, one eye back as he's uh, again trying to find a way past Chris Dutz and then, uh, not giving up a position to his pursuers, Todd Sheeve and uh, Hugh Richards. Oh, these guys are juggling for position. And they head down into turn 
one. Excellent, uh, excellent race. Real exciting for the fans at the, uh, the grandstand to watch these guys circulate around. They're coming on the back side of the uh, stats of the 510. Car number two of Egan Mackey. Looks like Hugh Richards in the uh, green RX-7 is starting to get caught up in traffic a little bit, starting to draw back a little from that th now a three-way battle. Three-way battle for second place. Oh, look, there's a move. Looks like Todd Sheev able to take that advantage of the horsepower in the Z06 Corvette and get past uh, Gary Kwong. She can make some moves on uh, on the car, but Chris Dudes, and again, the, the uh, difference in the horsepower between that V8 uh, Chevrolet Corvette and the uh, Honda Civic. And it looks like he's got a clear run uh, for Todd. He's going to have to hustle. Very, uh, the horsepower takes over. Oh, Chris, did you see that? He dives on the inside and retakes that position. There you go, a little bit nimbler car. See if he can make a move on the outside of the uh, Mini. Got that uh, little bit of squally on one of our new drivers. Gives a little bit of a lesson. A good heads up driving. Hopefully he makes it against the, uh, the horsepower put into play once again and retakes that position. So now he's thinking, I'm not going to let that happen again. Working his way through traffic. Eleven minute laps in the book. Gerald Pate's best lap time at one twelve point eight. He's got a handily uh, best uh, or uh, the speed over everyone else. I'm looking down quickly, taking a quick peek down the list. The next fastest car is in the 16, so he's got like a three or four second uh, cushion every lap over his uh, closest pursuers. Todd so should be able to stretch it out on Chris now. We'll have to see what uh, what kind of time Todd's doing. Now that he's clear of that traffic and uh, Todd's best lap time at 116.3 was with the uh, when he was Uh oh, there's a great gear grinding out of car number 21. Oh, there was a reverse. That's not good either. Never good when you see the reverse lights come on coming down the front street. See, Kurt Schlosser's got that uh, car. Oh, looks like he's got it going again. Hopefully, hopefully he didn't knock any teeth off the gears in that uh, Mustang. As our leader, makes, uh, Gerald Bates, makes his way past Kurtz down in the uh, Turn 3 area, down way down the west end.
class. Fourth overall is Gary Kwong.